Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of our colouring in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween book. And this is where we've got to so far. So we did the background and her skin and um, we did acrylic paint. I'll put a link up if you didn't see part one so that you can go and follow along if you want to. Because I love it when you guys post pictures of colourings that you followed along with me. Um, we decided that the paper, let me put my other light on, we've got desperate shadow going on here. One second. Um, yeah, we decided that the paper was really finicky and um, it's, it's really quite hard to work with. So um, I asked in the comments, um, I was obviously talking about it, and I decided that we would continue to um, colour in here. Um, and I've talked about just wetting the page, which will change the composition of the paper. Um, but I'm going to use watercolours uh, just to put a base down. If you don't have them, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You could just wet the paper, let it dry naturally and um, then try. But this dress is a big space and it's a, a big part of this picture. So I don't want to fluff it up. I think other little bits like her hair and her eyes, I think they will be OK. But it just doesn't tolerate a lot of messing. So I did a little practice um, pumpkin down here and it worked out really well. So I have got um, my median paints here, but any watercolours you've got are fine because it is just a base. And if you haven't got watercolours, like I said, just wet the page, let it dry completely and that will sort of rough up the paper. So these are the swatches for these paints. And um, I picked out this light, can you see even? this ye light yellow so any um, light yellow to go in the background of these pumpkins will be great so I've got my wet brush and I'm just going to let me just check which one it was this one it's still wet so I'm just going to put a bit of that on and I'm just going to go directly onto the pumpkin And don't forget it will dry lighter so and it is just a base it's just to give me like I say the it changes the composition of the paper and you get kind of like a, a rougher surface because it's not watercolor paper it's just come in slightly but literally all I'm going to do is use that lemon yellow or whatever color it is they don't have color names these medium ones and I'm going to paint the pumpkins. Oh, that's black there, but that's okay. So don't don't need to stress out. Um, this is pumpkin two behind here, as I do believe. This is pumpkin. So that's all I'm going to do and then clean off my brush. I've just got an old cloth here. I don't want to oversaturate the page but I'm just going to go back over it with just clean water just to make sure that I've got enough water to do what I want it to do. There we go. And there's just one there and one there. So I'll just do that quickly. And then I hope you enjoyed part one. Thank you all so much for your lovely, kind comments. It means an awful lot at the best of times, but particularly at the moment while I'm struggling. That's black I've missed there. Um, particularly while I'm struggling with this... Um, episode shall we say of anxiety which has really got a grip on me at the moment however sometimes it sort of makes me shut down completely it hasn't made me not want to film it's I just I don't want to leave the house I I'm, yeah I'm just in a bit of a state um, and colouring is my sanctity so and so are you guys you give me so much support and I thank you so much for that so, right, so I've just put a little bit of water on. That tones down that very bright lemon. And then the downside to it, folks, is 
we have to wait for it to dry. So we either wait for it to dry or um, we do something else. But her dress, I'm not sure how I'm going to manage the dress at the moment um, because I don't want to put like, these are the colours that I've got and the colour of her dress is purple. Now I could probably put this very pale one over, I might do that actually. And the greens, in the picture I'm copying, the greens are quite dark. And what I don't want to do is put a base colour down and it ruin the plans that I've got. Oh, I don't know, it's so difficult folks. I think what I should do, if I look at my practice one a minute, I reckon we'd get away with putting that green down. So I reckon I would get away with putting this um, this green down here as a base. So that's the fourth one along. Let me. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to try one for a minute, um, and then I'll let that dry and come back to it. If it works, where can I do this? It's inconspicuous. Well, if I do the um, stalk of the if I do the stalk of the pumpkin, then it won't matter so much if they look a bit different. But if it turns out how I'd practised without the paint, then very happy. I will be very happy. So I'll just do that one too, and then they match. Okay. So again, I'm going to clean my brush off. Wipe it off so it's not soaking wet, and then just pick up some of that colour and there we go all right now I'm going to get my heat gun out so that we're not waiting for a million years so if you're wearing headphones mute them now or take them out ready I'm only going to do that for this one bit and the reason why is because when you use the heat gun it crinkles your page but I'm just doing it for quickness on the video so if you're doing this please 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 make sure that your page is 100% dry before even attempting to do it okay so I have got pumpkin colors I've got four and I've got from a darkest to lightest. Remember we're using Faber-Castell black edition pencils. This is the 100 set. Absolutely love these pencils. Um, we have got 787, 715, 702 and 701. So from like a ready brown all the way down into yellow. And it's really, really cool. So I'm going to, let's start with this little one. I did that first so that should be dry. I'm going to take our darkest colour, put those next to us so that I know I've got them in the right order. I'm going to take our darkest colour and I'm going to come out from the top round where the stalk is. Oh gosh that's so much better. Oh that makes, that's made such a difference, they like glide now. I'm coming a little bit closer. They're like gliding on the paper. So I'm really going to bring out those parts of the pumpkin first before I do any more like this and I'm going to put a little bit up this edge oh yes that's made such a huge difference folks so yeah if you're worried about it don't put paint on just put um, just brush on water and then let it dry naturally Okay, 715, this is our bright, bright orange. And I'm going to follow that dark. And bring that bright orange out. Bring 
bring that down here a little bit. We'll fill up that side. Okay, then we go in with our lighter orange 702 and we're going to leave a space for our orangey bits, our, our yellow bits. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. There we go. Okay, then we're going in with this gorgeous bright yellow which is 701. And we're going to put that in. And then we'll tidy it all up. But that makes such a difference, folks. It really does. Right, back in with our darkest. Neaten that up. And I'm not fussed at, like, if I go over onto the black, because we can always go back over. What I should do with you is do a... Um, bit of water on it just so you can see what happens you know like just paint water on it something and then colour it all right let's tidy all this up did I do enough of that brown really deepen it around there yeah you can get that you can um, really work the paper now so so much better yeah well I'm saying oh gosh I'm all over the place folks and I do apologise, it's just the way I am at the minute. I was saying we I should just do a bit of water on some things just so you can see how they respond but I mean it would be exactly the same as putting the watercolour on and the paper's just, uh, God, I, should, I should have just done a silent video tonight. <laughs> the pencils are just responding so beautifully. Here we go. Right, nice and tidy now. There we are. Should have done this from the beginning. Should have done this with her skin, but never mind. The skin's not as smooth as I'd like it, but if I mess with her now, I'll ruin it because it's got a wax coat on, so it's not gonna. Okay, so one pumpkin down. And that's how I'm going to do all of them. We're going to do this big um, empty one together. Just using that, um, the lighter of the two oranges just to sort of help that blend out a little bit. Okay, let's do this one because we can kind of have to make this one up. I have got um, Jasmine's picture in front of me here, how she's coloured it. So I am going to put in, oh, I do apologise for my phone. Um, I am going to put in my own divisions for the pumpkin so it looks like this one It'll be quite dark around there and then kind of bring that round and up there I'm sure it'd be fine when I because I cannot draw to save my life but I'm sure it'd be fine when we put the other colors in she says so, right, now I'm going to pretend that those lines were already there and we're going to colour it like we would normally. Like I've done the other ones. So I'm going to deepen it round the top and round these lines. Like that. And then go in with our other colours. Hopefully it will look okay. If you are a drawer, if you have the capability to draw, firstly, I'm very jealous, but secondly, you could do all sorts of lovely things with these empty pumpkin spaces. Okay, next colour. Like this. Just follow those shapes and then put in that bright, bright yellow. Now 
and I'm going to go back in with my brown <coughs> and deepen that up even further like we did before just so it sort of sections that the bits of pumpkin out am I making any sense tonight it feels like I'm just rambling and wittering and we could even put some black black lines in so it matches the other pumpkin Shall I be brave and have a go or shall I leave it? Let's be brave. Okay, I'm going to take my black jelly roll. Let's make sure it's working. Yeah. Okay, and where I've put in my dark lines, I'm just going to bring them out, not all the way down. And then we're going to have one there. We're going to have one there one there and one up here now, just so it sort of matches the rest of the page okay now the green the greens I've chosen you're going to be horrified but this set if I show you there is actually not a really dark rich green and I want a dark rich green so I've got three colours and you're going to be like what in the holy honk are you doing Lucy that's what you're going to be saying but please just bear with me so the opposite of green on the colour wheel is red and if you put red or a kind of red underneath a green you're going to get it's going to look darker so just I'm going to have to trust me on this so here's the colours that I've got okay the two greens are fine yeah yeah no problem but it's the colours that I've chosen <laughs> So I've got 711, which, if you don't have these pencils, is again, is a ready brown. It's this on here, like a, a burnt sienna kind of colour. Um, and then I've got 742, which is a... Um, let me just say 66 on my thing. is a very, very blue-green. And then I've got the gorgeous um, 766, which is another blue green is that right 63 no that one olive green sort of uh olive green and you'll see it it does work i promise i haven't i haven't just gone absolutely do lally it works so i'm going to take this red brown color and i'm going to put it in the bottom of the stalk like this and i'm going to put it around there and I'm doing it lightly. I'm not going to fill up the tooth of the paper. I'm just putting it in lightly. And we're going to have a little bit up here. Okay, so just colour it as if it was your dark green, but just lightly. Now I'm going to go in with the 742 and I'm going to colour over that. And what we're going to get in a minute, you'll see. Is a darker green and you'll see in a minute when I come out onto that watercolor you'll see the color of this pencil and how it's changed okay so that's the color I've created with that using that ready brown now I'm going to come out with this green can you see the difference I hope you can on camera there's a vast difference There we go. And then take our final colour, 766, and fill in that space. There we go, isn't that clever? Then we can go back in and I just soften that edge up again, just so it's not so harsh. And then all of a sudden what we've got is a very deep green, or at least a shadow of, for green. There. Go back in with my light one. So that works. Let's just do the other pumpkin stalk. Then I'll go off and paint all those, get those done, and then um, we'll come back. So 
I'm going to go in here with my brown at the base here. I'm going to make sure I fade it out enough. I didn't do that on the last one. Softly bring it out. I'm going to have the shadow down this side. And we're going to put it around here too. And make sure there's no harsh lines before you put that green in. There we go. Alright, let's go in with our darkest green. What are your thoughts, folks? What are you thinking? Lucy, you've gone mental. Just twist you around a bit. It does work. You, um, you do get that really deep green. Look at that. It's clever, isn't it? Okay, and then around the top here. Are you still on camera? Yeah. I'm sorry about the shadow. It's really late at night, and I've had to turn my new light round because. Um, it literally burns my retinas out. <laughs> okay, and then our light green. Okay, I need to get my Posca pen. I hope you don't mind another long video. That's the one I haven't opened. Where's my little one? I bet it's on the desk still. Oh no, Posca pen, where are you? It's done a runner because I've overworked it. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, face full of colouring, but so I need to fill this bit in. This is black. There we go. And then there was a bit down here, wasn't there? Let me see. This bit here is black. Yeah. Uh. Okay. There we go. Right. I am going to bring you out so you can see for a start. And the colour of these is going to be the same. But I'll do that. I'll do um, those with you, or at least a couple of them with you, like the twirly one with you. Um, so I'm going to go off and do the pumpkins and then I will meet back up and um, do the next part. See you in a second. Okay guys, so what I did was went in with the greens like I told you and her chair at the back is also green so I did that. And I took that lilac colour that I told you, that one, and not that it helps because there's no names but I watered it down, really watered it down and painted that over a dress so that we've got this this texture that I want and then also not that you'll be able to see it but I don't know if you can hear it I've put plain water all over her hair over her boots and the arms of the chair and it has changed I mean that's lovely and smooth if you listen and then I don't know how else to tell you on camera, but it has changed the texture of the paper. So hopefully our pencils will work. So I'm going back in with the colour combination we had for the um, pumpkin stalks. And let me bring you in, not too close, because otherwise it just focuses on the pencil. And we are going to do these and the chair. So let's start with this one, shall we? I'm going to take the insides of these and put that... Um, 711 colour on that sort of ready brown. Now I have to be a bit more careful because the pencils respond too well now. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that the pencils don't respond on this paper, they do. It's just that, um, like I said, the, yes, yesterday wasn't yesterday was it day before when I did the video that it's just like the paper gives up on you it's like yeah I've had enough I, I can't be doing with all this just leave me alone and won't take any more pencil 
after a very short time and yet the paper feels really good quality. So we're going to try my little um, plain water experiment so that if you don't have watercolours you can try it too. <clears throat> okay then back in with 742. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to try and keep the shape of the vine as I'm doing it. So I'm going to try and follow that shape. Make sure I get enough of that green over the brown. And we go back in, as you know, and then we'll deepen it up. Soften that out. So now you'll see, I suppose, why I chose to do this video in two parts. It would be about three hours long, because I think this video probably is going to be about an hour and a half, if not possibly a little bit longer. But I don't really want to split it into any more parts than two. If you're colouring along, um, it's frustrating, isn't it, when you have to keep waiting. OK. And then we'll put our light colour in. So I'm going to go back over that brown just to help that out and push that light colour in. And we should get that nice gradient of greens in there. Now Jasmine's picture, she's clearly used a marker or something to put highlights in, so we'll do that at the end of uh, the page. I just, um, I think it's going to look so cool. I just wish that I'd thought about it. Instead of just trying and going ahead with her skin, I wish I'd have thought about it beforehand and put the water on her skin. But it is what it is now, so I can't really do much more about it. But never mind. I think it still looks cool. And that's going to look really cool when we put... The, um, sort of like a lime green highlight on that. It's going to look so cool. I'm just going to go back in with that blue green. There we go. And we get rid of that, much of that brown as we can. There we are. You could use black, but I've chosen the deepest greens that they've got in this set already so I don't know if black would be too harsh well, it's quite it's quite good fun playing with mixing colors so that's that one let's do another one quickly um, let's do this one so I'm gonna do we will come in a little bit I think the camera will be okay if I come in a bit closer we're gonna do this one so put that brown in just lightly In like that. And then I'm going to follow the shape again of the um, vine. I'm loving this picture, so I really am. I'm very pleased, even though we've had the challenges of the paper. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Put our lightest colour in. Okay, we'll go back with our bluey green colour. Now, once you go over it again, then it really changes that brown and you get that nice dark green. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, I just love it. Just awesome. Love it. So we have to do the chair around um, our queen and same principle applies. I'm going to put go in with our red brown 
I'm going to do it around her hair. And the reason why I'm colouring all this instead of her hair is not to tease you and to keep you watching. Um, it's because we'll be using black for her hair. And I don't want to drag black into my other colours. So that's why I'm doing the other colours first and I'll leave her hair till afterwards. Okay. Get that in. Following the shape of the chair again. And then we put our light colour in. Like that. And then we go back to make sure that that uh, red brown is covered. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of that brown and just soften that edge into the green. I'm going to go back in with our lightest. There we go. So we get that colour of green for the back of her chair too. And we've got to do the arms of the chair. So it's quite dark on this bit. Looking at the image, so I'm going to put this brown on there, darker here, like that, and then we're darker at the back here, around that bit. There we go. Now let's go in with our blue-green. I can't tell you the difference it's made in um, the paper, just wetting it. And that's all I did with, um, like I say, our hair and around the, around the rest of the chair. So there we go, we've got a nice dark green there. And that bit's dark. So I've got a little bit too dark there. I've used too much of the um, red brown colour. So lessen off the pressure on that, you can always go back in. So I might try and erase that. Well, you know me, I will erase it, because it will bug me. <laughs> it's one of those things, I don't know about you guys, but I'll do stupid things like that, I'll leave it, go to bed, and then it'll plague me while I'm in bed that I haven't done it properly until I get up and have to, <laughs> until I have to fix it. So now I can go back in with my red-brown and I can deepen that up. Yeah, I just think I was putting too much on. There we go. Okay, so that's that bit. That's wood. Obviously that bit down there is going to be really dark, so we're going to do that. I'm going to put a light bit of, of brown in there, and then our green over the top. There we are. What bit is that? What's that? I think that's got to be green as well, don't you reckon? That little bit there, maybe? I don't know, it is now. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, um, and then we've just got this little bit. I'll do the, the other side off camera so you don't have to, um, so you don't have to sit and watch the whole sorry saga. Okay. Yeah, that's working much better. I've just been too heavy handed. There we go. I'm not fussed about her hair because it's going to be a lot of black in her hair. And then that there we are. I'll just leave that as it is. I think I might 
you know mess with the paper too much and I'm just going to erase the trim although I'm not fussed about that either really okay so that's our green there now what have we got now I've got the vines to do let's have a look at the actual chair frame shall we so I've got taking back that colour I've got to remember that that is let me just write that down so that is 85 brown I need to put that back to do my greens otherwise when I go off camera I won't have, I won't have a clue what I'm doing um, okay so this chair bit not the line that separates the green from the chair but this chair bit I've got four colors and it's just simple colouring and we'll use some pen to highlight or something like that. Nothing scary, very similar to how we did the vine, um, only we don't have to mix colours this time. So we've got 784, 711, 786 and 747. And I am going to run up, this is our darkest I might even need to darken this up even more is that right is that my darkest I think so so I might hmm, hang on a minute uh, yeah no that's right um, I'm gonna run up around the edges so all down here or all up here whichever way you're looking at it <laughs> Am I all on camera? There we go. Let's move you down a bit. There we go. And just run round here. Like that. We'll go in again, like I always say, we'll go in afterwards and we'll deepen it up. So don't worry about that. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and then we're going with our next cover colour, 711. This is the one we used on our vine. We're going to follow that darker colour and bring this one out. And at the moment they look exactly the same colour, but they won't when we go back in. Just have faith and patience, folks. <laughs> she says. I think I'm probably the least patient person on earth. Okay. Let's get that done. Then we're going to go in with our next one, which is um, 786. And then we've just got one left, which is going to be our highlight colour. So I know they look very similar at the moment, but they won't. Bring that out a little further. Okay, then our last colour is 747, which is a much lighter colour. And we'll go in with that. So I hope you can see now that, although I haven't finished layering, that there's, it's much less of a grainy look now. The pencils are, you know, they, well, they've got something to grip on. So now I'm going back in with our dark colour and deepening that up. So we get that real nice, deep, rich brown. I think this set would work extremely well. It paired with um, Amazon Basics as well. I've been using the Amazon Basics to top up a lot of sets um, for colours. They've got some gorgeous colours and they're just a lovely wax pencil. So, right, got that nice and dark. I can always add a little bit of black should we need to. Next colour. I think you get the drill. Put 
Next colour. <laughs> I might just go in with a little bit of black around the edge just to really bring out that dark brown, that darker brown. We'll see. Let's try it. Oh. I say, what have I got to lose? But a whole page and two videos. <laughs> But yeah, they're, they're, they're working so much better with, on the paper now. Okay, I don't know if I can deepen it up even more with that colour or... I don't want to, I just... Although I've wet it and the papers, the pencils are able to respond better, I, uh, I don't want to scuff the paper up. So let's try a little bit of black, it's not going to hurt. So a little bit of black, just in those areas that I wanted it really dark. There we go. That's better. Again, just lightly, so it still looks like it's brown, but we're just deepening it up. There we go, and then I'll go back in with that dark brown. Just working down the colours now. That's better. That little bit of black look made such a difference. See the colour tone change now. Is that the right one? Yeah. Okay, there we are, there's my little brush, okay, that'll look cool, when we put the highlights in with pen, that's going to look cool, and I'll smooth it out off camera, but yeah, I'm looking at it on camera, it looks cool, so we're going to have to do that for all these little chair bits, so if we do the arm of the chair together, shall we, so I'm going to make it dark round her arm, around this side bring that up a little bit further okay I'm gonna I'm not gonna faff this time I'm going straight in with that black where I want it dark there we go then back with our darkest brown pull that out there we go Pull that black out, go over with brown. There we go. Next colour. Soften that out. Next colour. I did say, yes I did. I was just thinking, oh goodness, I didn't say. I did do from darkest to lightest I think didn't I and the numbers will be on screen okay there we go that's going to look really cool when we put highlights in and then it will just be a case of like these little straight bits so I'm going to do the darkest one at the edge and obviously they're going to be much darker because it's in behind so we're going to use our dark one next one down and our next one down maybe leave out the light one okay and then put a little bit of that black in the just in the corners like that. what do you think yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look cool, especially when we get the rest of her done. So 
before I go any further and I have too much to do and I feel overwhelmed, I'm going to go off camera and finish all the green bits and the frame of the chair and then we will meet back up. All right, my lovely, see you in a sec. Okay, folks, so I've finally done the vines, the chair, and I think that was it, wasn't it? That's what I went off to do, the vines and the chair. And we're going to have to address her dress. And I think it's the biggest aspect of the page, so we're probably going to do that next. Well, we are definitely going to do that next. So, I have got the following colours for her dress. I've got black, which is 712. Then I have got... Let me just make sure I've got these in the right order, from darkest to lightest. Yeah, I've got 754, then I've got 705, and then 757. I'm going to start with her bodice, because um, I'm thinking that I might um, do... I don't know, I don't need to be that close. I'm thinking that I might... Uh, use a gel pen maybe for the beautiful intricate pattern. So I'm going to take black and I'm going, let's start in here, so I'm going to put black, I'm just really lightly colouring it. And remember this has had um, a very light coat of purple over it. I only use the watercolour really, like I say, to change the composition of the paper. This is all pretty much really dark, so I want this dark under that purple. So, and it's the only way I could think to do it, because if I colour straight over those like I would normally, and then I'm going to lose the pattern, and I, I think the pattern really adds to the bodice and everything, I don't want to lose that. So I'm thinking maybe a sparkly gel pen um, for the intricate pattern. That's what I'm thinking, if I can get my words out. So I'm going to go in with black. I'm filling most most of these spaces. I've just coloured that wrong bit. Hang on. Let me just erase that. I want that little tiny corner bit black. And then oh, I'm just going to do that and leave that bit of pattern. It's very confusing. It's muddling my brain. So I'm going in there. Going up to that pattern. Because it's muddling my brain up. It's very late at night. It's not. It's half past ten, but I've been up later colouring. But I'm enjoying it and it's making me feel better, so there we go. So I'm just going to put a light bit in there. I just want this, um, when I put this purple in the top, I want it to be really dark. So I'm going to actually just put grey really lightly just colour those bits in as well so we can try and get that purple as deep as possible there we are right and I've got sharp pencils for this I've resharpened them so we need 754 for this one our darkest and I'm going in over that black I'm going to try and avoid those beautiful patterns. So, concentrating. And then I've got some of the Art Spirits um, paint. Uh, one called Glitter Gold. Now, if my hands are steady enough at the end of this, I want to ha her to have gold stripes on her dress. Remember, these aren't my colours. I'm following Jasmine's, but I think she's got this picture to a T. It's absolutely perfect. Just speaks Halloween and Queen of Halloween. So... Yeah, so the stripes will be, hopefully be gold. And I think she's just going to look magical. Okay.
All right, so with using that black, I've got some really deep, dark areas um, to indicate that shadow, particularly around the bone of her dress. Like this. And then we've, we're left with that sort of central portion of the purple colour. So I'm going to do that all over her bodice. So, um... I'm going to do exactly the same thing as we've just done, black, and then lessen it off to grey. Um, black all round here. And then just as we get into, like I say, into the centre bits, I'm just going to lessen off the pressure. Gosh, my eyes are going skew if trying to see these patterns. I think that's black there. Okay, we'll do grey in here. And then black here. Okay, black there. I hope this makes sense. So, I'm going to do it exactly the same. So I'm taking, again, 754. I'm going to go in with that. I hope my head's not in camera. It was in camera the other day and um, you could see the top of my glasses and the fact that my um, I like scrunched my hair up into a messy bun type thing and it just looked like I hadn't brushed my hair for a week when you saw me on camera. I think it was in part one. It's because my eyesight's so bad, so I lean into um, to look at what I'm doing and then not realise that the top of my head's on film. It's all very attractive when you've got your hair just pulled back, you know, you have those... I've brushed it, obviously, but you have those scruffy hairstyles that you just do quickly, you know, it look like... Um, I was horrified. It looked like I hadn't brushed my hair in a month. I looked like stick of the dump for any of you that remember that. <laughs> there. Okay. I think that's going to look pretty cool. And I'm a bit scared about doing um, this part of her dress, I have to say. But I think it will look cool. When we get like a... I want a sort of light purple sparkly gel pen to go on her bodice, on those bits. Then we'll have gold on the bone bits. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's just going to look amazing. Well, if it's anything like Jasmine's colours, then it's going to look fantastic. But... I don't know, we'll see. There we go. Right, so that's how our bodice is going to be done. Just dark around the edge and get um, lighter as you come in so the purple shows through more. Now we've got this bit to do and I'm terrified. So, what I'm going to do is take the black pen and I am going to put in where I want the darks. So you're ready for this. So already we've got these creases, so I'm going in here with my black and I'm just going to do it lightly for now. I'm just going to fill it in lightly. I just have to have my fingers crossed that this works. I've got three other colours. Did I read those out to you? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so we've got that black bit. Can you tell I'm a bit edgy about doing this? It's no good being scared, Lucy. Just get in there and do it. I know it will, it, I'm sure it will be fine. So I know it will. Because I have messed up pages. Lots and lots of pages before. But all that's going to be dark around there. And Jasmine brings hers right down here. Uh, 
and then we follow this crease round this is all dark and then we're going to put I'm just going to bring a few more round in here crease here. See why I'm scared? <laughs> There's a lot of kind of ad-libbing with Jasmine's books. This is this page though in particular was um, fairly easy to follow in terms of like the background's easy isn't it? You paint it you know the, these bits were fairly easy but this dress the way Jasmine's done it is so beautiful. Um, and it'll be make or break for the page, won't it? You either get it right or the page is going to look naff because the first thing you look at is going to be this beautiful dress. I think. So I just want to get these in the right place and then we can go in with our colours. And I'm going to bring that down under our arm. as if our arms cast in a bit of shadow there. I'm going to do the same this side. So under here. Okay. Right, let's go for it. So I'm going to darken that up now. Okay, I think I might do this section by section so it's not so scary. So let's do, because again, I haven't practiced, so I hope you're proud of me, people. Let's do, um, right, let's go in with our darkest, which is 754. Let me just check again. I'm getting paranoid and edgy. Okay, so we're going to go over that black. Now, I'm not going to press too hard at the moment because I might want to, well, I will want to deepen it up. So I'm going in with this first purple, our darkest. I'm going over that black. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of pencil work. I can see this video being at least two hours long. But like I said, um, I don't really like doing any more than two parts. bring that down. Right, next colour is um, 705. I'm going to put that in. Again, just lightly at the minute. Try and follow the shape of that dress. And then our last colour is 757, which is a lot lighter, but it will help us blend and give us that contrast we need. And it's a bit more pink, so we'll go from sort of bluey, bluey uh, purples to a sort of more ready purple. Okay, do I like? I'm going to deepen that up there. Bring that down a bit further. Now I'm going to go in with our purples properly. So, dark purple first. Let's cover that black. I'm going for it, folks. No more faffing. Let's just do it. And then I will still be able to see the stripes. So I will go over those with that gold paint which is soaking here 
and it's called Sparkling Gold, I think it's called. Um, I've just got a little bit of spray on it. Um, these are the Art Spirits paints, and boy, they're amazing. And you can buy them individually, I do believe. It's called Glitter Gold. So, look at them. Aren't they incredible? There they are on the... And that's that true silver I keep telling you about, I think. No, it's not. That's a different one. That's called Twinkle. Yeah, I'll put a link down below to Rebecca's Etsy shop where you can buy them. Um, she makes the most incredible paints and they don't rub off the page. They're very expensive. So f they last forever. So I think that one, for one of those ones like that, don't quote me, um, you'll have to go over and have a look. I haven't brought one for a long time because they last forever. Um, around about £5 sterling five and eight pounds sterling but if you want you to treat yourself once in a while and, and have like I started with the gold and the silvers because they're just sort of staples of colouring books aren't they golds and silvers um, but once you try them you like hooks they're just incredible okay next colour is 44 or my 44 705 And I'm backtracking as usual, going over all those colours. I hope there's going to be enough contrast in these colours. Gonna bring that down further. My hands are aching already. <laughs> Don't know why I'm talking like this. Okay, and then we're going to put our last colour in. So I haven't got it as deep as Jasmine's. Jasmine's is much darker than mine. I'm that I'm a little gutted about to be honest, but never mind. Oh, hands hurting. This, this is why I say it's such a mammoth part of the page that and I'd put it off. Okay. Oh, we get there, folks. coming it's just going to take a bit of working takes a little bit of working to fill up all that color here we go I've got a mucky mark on her arm now So you just have to keep working at it. Keep it until you've filled in all of that colour. It's going to be hard work. But I think it's going to be so worth it when it's done. Right, let's do a little bit more. I know this is going to be a lot, it's going to take a long time, but um, 45. So wherever I've put the black, I'm going in with our darkest, which is, should be on screen from darkest to lightest. I know I keep quoting my numbers, but that's my um, dyslexic tendencies kicking in. So if I do this one side with you and a bit of the back panel and then I can go off and rest my hands because I'm going to need to. Well, that's all dark up here. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh my goodness, hand ache. little creases out there. Okay, yep. You can see where I've put the black, we did that together. So you can see where those darks are going to go. Next colour, I'm going to go over where I've already been. bring that colour out. <clears throat> Soften it off so that we can put the, the final last lighter colour in there. Looks horrendous doesn't it when you um, colour in large spaces like this to start with. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my dark one there. Jeez. <laughs> right, let's get the light one. We can always go over that if there's um, too much of it. This is why I did the watercolour on this. A, it's supposed to be easier on my hands, but B, um, that I needed that this paper to take the pencils properly. Can you imagine doing this like we did with the skin? Good grief. Okay, I need to go back in. So, dark one. And I'm just going to keep switching backwards and forwards until I'm happy that it's covered and it's dark enough. Next one. No, that wasn't the dark one. Darn it. Never mind. This is the dark one. Why do I always feel like I've got to. Uh, and it's not, no, no, nobody's fault. But I always feel like I've got a rush. I don't know. I don't know why. You've all told me, Lucy, don't rush. We like a longer video. Those, you know, if we don't get to watch it all, we can come back and finish it off. I know. Damn anxiety, eh, folks? Curse it, is what I have to say. All right, that's coming on nicely. So let's bring in our light colour here. Put a little bit there. And in here. And then back to oh, my hands doing that thing. Oh, ow, ow. Um, mid tone. Because that gives us that more blue. I need to follow those creases, otherwise, I'll lose them. Okay, back to the light one. A lot of chopping and changing. Obviously I need to work on it and fill in any white spaces and stuff but I'm going to have to take my time with it because my hands are really hurting. 
Okay, go over that. And I need to soften this black up. So I'm just going over it a little bit more. Just bring out that edge. Back in with our darkest. See, our paper, the paper would not have done this before. Mid-tone. So can you see, I'm just, I'm just going to keep going over until I've got the blends right and it's smooth. There's no other way I can explain it to you, really, without sitting and doing every bit on camera. So there's the black bits. Now we need to do this back bit here. If I put the black bits in, um, and then you just bring the I'll bring the black bits round, and then we're going to come down from dark to light on the rest of her dress. So we've got this section here behind her boot, round her leg, and all the way round her dress. So I'm going to try and keep the shape of her dress. all the way around here. So I'm doing it like I did before, just lightly to start with. Follow the shape of that dress and try and keep it like that. Gosh, it's scary, folks. <laughs> it is when you get to this point and you've done this much of the page and then you could magnificently mess it up. Okay. Make sure we've got it behind our legs. Soften it out so we don't have any harsh line there. Okay, and then we'll go in, make it darker. Then we're going to go in from dark, the dark purple over that and down into the light purple until we end up into the light purple, the same as we've done this. So I am going to go off, folks, and have my hands a rest. I'll get the dress finished, um, the purple finished on the dress anyway, and then we're going to come back. We are, we're going to do our eyes in purple too. And then we've just got a hair and boots to do. I will see you, hopefully shortly. <laughs> see you in a bit, my friends. Okay guys, I've worked really hard at this dress and I have made a d the decision um, that this bottom half of the dress, I'm not putting gold paint on it. No way. Because my hands are too shaky and um, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it on her bodice when I'm ready to do her bodice so she's got the gold bits on there. Um, it will match her boots. So we are going to have to look at this dreaded hair now. I've left the bits that I've been scared of. Um, although this picture is fairly simple compared to other jasmine hair. So I'm going to take the pumpkin colours for some of the streaks that are going to be in our hair. We're going to do those first and then we'll put the black in. Actually, let's, should we do our eyes so that when I'm editing the colours are the same. So I'm going to use the same pencils. So it was... Um, 705, um, I'm just checking, uh, no, 754, sorry, 705 and 737, they should still be on the screen. And I'm going to go in with the darkest of our colour at the top of our eye, and bring that round, perhaps round our pupil, and a little bit on this side. I didn't wet this bit of paper. 
let me come in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm coming in here. I'm going to go round a pupil. I'm sorry this video is going to be so long, but there's not much I can do about it really. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to show you all the bits that I need to. Next colour down, we're going to go over that. This is that bluey colour. I'm going to put a bit of that in. That more blue purple. Okay. Yeah, I just, there is no other way of, um, of, apart from speeding things up and that's, I don't do that. Um, there's no other way of, of doing the video for you without going through this. Like, like I said, I don't want to do part three, so I apologise if, you, you know, if you don't like longer videos, actually I don't apologise, if you don't like longer videos, just come back to it when you're ready. You know, and if you're colouring along, same thing, just pause me, come back to me when you've caught up. There we go, it's a beautiful eyes, aren't they gorgeous? Now, in Jasmine's picture, she's got really dark purple lips. So maybe we should just use these colours again. Let's see. So, yeah, we'll keep the same colours, I think. So we're going to go in with our dark. Bring out that beautiful shape of her lips. And we'll, oh, oh, made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe jump. I'm just going to sharpen it back up again. She's now got a purple, a little purple spot there. I am not even going to try and erase it because of how finicky all this was to do. There we go. And we're going with our next colour. Yeah, there's no way. I'm afraid she's going to have to have a little purple beauty spot there forevermore. And then the light one. Ooh, she looks cool. Look at that. She looks so good. All right. Apart from a little beauty spot, we'll put some highlights and things on um, at later at the end. Um, I'm going to go in with, I think actually I'm going to do that now. It's going to be long. It's going to be long. I might as well. Oh, what have I done with everything? No, I won't. I'll find my black Posca, which always evades me. Here it is. And, um, there we go. Just as I was about to say, we won't. There we go. Look at that beautiful deep colour. And then we can we can do round her eyelashes too, but I'll wait till I've done the hair. So, um, and we'll... I'll either use this or um, a jelly roll. There we go. She's going to look a bit freaky for a bit because she's got no... Um, no highlights or anything, but I love the eye colour. That looks, that looks so cool, doesn't it? Right, hair. Now I've made it hard for myself because I've got to avoid the eyes, but there you go. Right, so she's got pumpkin coloured streaks in amongst black hair. So I have got the same pumpkin colours, so let me remind myself. I do this, by the way, um, so that when I'm editing, I, I'm talking to myself and saying what colours I've got and I can put them on screen. So I've got 7-Eleven, 787, 702 and 701. So it's just slightly different. We've missed out a few of the pumpkin colours. So the first streak in her hair is this one behind here. So I'm going in with darkest first, which is 711. And I'm going to put a little bit of that at both ends and then let it fade out. Then I'm going in with 787. That. 
there we go. And then um, 702, which was the lighter of our oranges that we used for the pumpkin. Put that in. And then I'm really lightly going to fill that gap, just really lightly. Okay, and then I'm going to put that bright um, yellow, which is 701, in. Okay, then as usual, we can go back in and just fill that in. So if she's got a streak there, she's got a streak here. So we're going to do the same thing here. So the dark at the bottom and the top. Then our next colour down, a little bit of that. Then our orange. And then just lightly fill that in, just so that it knocks back that yellow just a little bit. And then go over that. Isn't that cool? Love it. So cool. Where's the next streak? The next streak is this great big long one down here. So I'm going to work from about here. Let me, I'm just looking at Jasmine's picture. From about here, I'm going to put our darkest one in. And then at the roots of her hair, I'm going to make that the darkest point. Next colour down, put that in. And then our orange. And then as we did before, just lightly fill that section in and then get our yellow. a bit more orange there and go a bit darker at the roots there we go. and then we're going to do the same here now I want the highlight to be in the center of that so I'm going to bring that dark down a little bit more and then I'm going to twizzle you around a little bit and then here I'm going to make that bit dark I'm just ad-libbing really folks. I mean I have got Jasmine's but hers is very different to mine already. <laughs> I'm just doing what I know will work for me. So and our next colour down and we're going to do that here with this one. Bring that up a little bit more. Okay then our orange. Focus more on the inside of the hair there, with that orange, and then lightly, 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 and then our yellow. Then we finish that streak off by turning you back round, <laughs> and we're going to have a dark bit at the bottom. And our next colour, once you've worked out where you want to put your highlight, and I'm trying to make the, the big bulgy out bits, if that makes any sense, the lightest. And it's just easy and it's really good fun to do. Oh, I didn't put the... Putting that little bit of really light orange there really makes a difference. There we go. So she's got another streak. And then we've got one this side, which is the same. So it's going to come out of this bit of hair. So where does she come? It's going to be dark here. Just trying to follow it here. So I'm going to make it dark there. Bring that down and then same again. Oops, yeah, no, that's right. Might as well bring that down while I'm doing it. 
and add our orange. And then lightly, lightly, lightly. <clears throat> there we go. So she's got these sort of gold pumpkin coloured streaks in her hair. Now we have to follow this round, ends there. So we're going to put the dark in there. And then our next colour, which is our orangey one. So now you can see that I haven't come round far enough with that, so I'm going to come down further. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the darkest tone in there too. Okay, then we got orange. And then really lightly. And then our yellow. And that yellow really makes a difference look to that golden sort of hair colour. Right, have we got any more streaks? Yeah, she's just got the straight ones now, so they're easier. Much easier. So we're gonna go in with our dark. And then a little bit dark at the bottom. Next colour. Our orange. And then lightly, lightly, lightly. There we go. So cool. Isn't that cool how that's coming out? I just hope the black works. And that's same again for this little bit. I won't keep talking through it. I think you get it. I'm so excited that this page is so lovely. I just, like I say, I wish I'd have thought about water and that before doing her skin, but I will know another time if we do another Jasmine page. If anybody can tolerate like three hours of Lucy on the same page. Right, where's the next streak in her hair? That chunky one there. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know if that's, I think it's meant to be, no it's this one. Stick with it Lucy, keep going. Okay. Now the other thing about this hair, Jasmine's picture, is that the rest of it is very black and she's just used a pen to highlight. Which is really cool because it makes it very easy for us to do. So for the black part I've just got two colours. I know. Can you believe it right? I think there should be another streak shouldn't there. So I did mess it up, that should have been in there. So I might just put that in there now. So we're going to make, I'm going to cut that bit off. You won't notice when I put the black in. But I'm going to cut that bit off. Because she's got two there and I need two here, otherwise she's going to look odd. Orange. And then yellow. I know I've gone out of the lines, but it won't matter because we're going to use black. There we are. So she's got her, her orange streaks. Now I did question whether I was going to just sort of um, posca the hair out, but actually I think it looks much better if we do it in pencil. So just gonna have a sip of drink. So I've got two colours, which is 712 black and 737, which is the um, very dark blue. Are you ready? I'm not sure that I am. So I'm gonna go in on the edge with our black and her roots and then I think what I might do is concentrate for a minute no I think what I might do I don't know we'll see if I can't get that black enough at the edges I'll posca it Go over where my mistake was. I've gone over the lines. Okay. All right, fade that out. And gently, gently, like we did with the yellow, put some black in. And then I'm going in with that dark blue. 
Now, I know you think I'm crazy, but black hair, when the light is shining on it, has blue in it. And actually, these two work really well together. And it just gives her a little bit of contrast instead of it just being flat black. Back to the black. That was Naomi Winehouse album, wasn't it? Back to black. Okay. And then we're going to come down there. Yeah, just not very black. What do you think? I'm moving an R in again. Well, I think what we should do is the rest of the hair and then decide. So, I'm going in with black. Then I'm going to soften it off so it goes grey. Put that blue in. And then the black again. I mean, you'll hardly notice that blue, but it's just, just gives it a little bit of something. I'm just wondering whether, it's just not as black as I would like it if you look at the picture. So I'm wondering, don't panic, but I can always wipe this off if it goes wrong. I'm wondering whether I should indeed put that black in. Okay, now if I let that dry, and then go back in with my black pencil. So, I'm going to do it the same as I did the others. I am going to, where am I going to do the dark from? Um, the bottom part of the, the bottom strand of the hair. So I'm going to start with my black, give her black roots. It's not particularly very black, is it, this pencil? like a very cool dark grey but or is it do you think that it's just next to the Posca it could be that it's just because it's next to Posca put the blue in and that's how I'm going to do the entire hair this back bit as well the same same principle I'm going to start at the bottom and the top part of our hair will be the blue. So, put the blue in. And back with our black. Yeah, I used to love Amy Winehouse. <coughs> Not her, uh, obviously, what she stood for, but her voice, wow. Just wow. Okay. Right, I'm going to wait till the Posca dries. Okay, then I'm going to take the black pencil. Uh, I might have to cheat here, folks, and get... I am. I'm going to cheat because I'm going to ruin the page. I'm going to take my black Prisma. I'm sorry, folks, but um, whatever black pen that you've got, that pencil you've got that works better, and I'm just going to blend that black Posca in. It needed to be much darker than that. There we go. That's better, see, look. That little bit of black Posca, I'm gonna do here as well. So each strand, I'm just gonna do a little bit of black Posca, and then blend that, whatever black pencil you've got into that blue. There you go. That's much better. Sorry folks, sometimes you just have to cheat. All right, I'm gonna go off and finish the hair because this is, oh, I was 73 minutes I think when I was editing. I'm gonna go off and finish our hair and then uh, we'll meet back up to, well, it'll be finishing touch, oh, boots as well. Boots are gonna be done the same. So I'm gonna have gold trim on the boots 
um, we're going to use black and blue again. So I'm going in on the edge here with our black. And again, I'll probably use some Posca. You could use, you don't need Posca, you could use your um, uh, water base markers if you don't have Posca. That would work just as well for these small areas. Boots and a little bit of blue. And we'll put highlights on them. There we go. And we're going to do. Oh, I can't. I need to move you up, and my desk is very cluttered. And we're going to do the same. We're going to. Go around the edge here, avoiding all those trims because they're going to be gold. So I'm going to put that black in. Yeah, I think the reason why it's not looking so black is because it's against the Posca. Trim uh, and bring that round. In around those buckles. Yeah, you can't see. in between those straps bring that grey out you don't need to use the blue if you don't want to if you just want to use the black and um, fade it into the grey you could do that Let's get that blue. I think it looks especially effective against the um, purple dress. And in there. Okay, and we put the blue in here. Make sure it merges well into that black. Going back with my black again. Yeah, see that's looking a lot darker and I'm sure it's because it's against the black posca of the background that it wasn't looking so black. I find it makes. And then in here is black. Hope my head's not in the camera again. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. There we are. I quite like that as it is, it's just a hair needed to be darker. So I don't need to cheat on the boot.
one in there. All right, we'll come back. They're going to be gold. Ooh, and the heel. <laughs> Black. And then add that blue. Okay, let's go in with the black again. Neaten that up. I'm speed colouring. <laughs> okay. One boot. And obviously the other boot is mirrored. It's going to be exactly the same. And then hair. Now, I'm not sure that I'll put the Posca in, actually. I don't know if I can get it dark enough. I'm thinking that, actually, look, if we go, can you see? If we go back over it, instead of me rushing, I'm thinking we can get those really cool colours in there. Yeah, I don't know. It looks cool with the black. Anyway, <laughs> let's come out and have a look. So what we've got left really is the hair and the gold trims and then will be the crown. And that's all black in between the crown bit. Um, and then we'll be done. All right, friends. Um, give me one YouTube second and I'll be back. Okay, folks, I think we're almost there. Now, I've tried to find my gel pens. Ah! Aha! I'm still in a bit of a pickle in my office because of moving, so I couldn't find them. No, that's not it. Definitely not. Okay, so I'm going to have to be really brave and go in with the paint. I was thinking I'd just do gel pen because I don't want to fluff her up. So, I need to do our eyebrows. I'm just going to use black. Put in those eyebrows. Eyelashes. I did cheat and use the black Prisma because this um, it's just not black enough, is it? It's just not cutting the mustard, folks. And I haven't brought you in, so just as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do her eyelashes. I have to be really careful here. And I'll tell you why, it's because it's against that, um, the black of the background. But that's okay, we'll make it work. Fill those in with pencil. So that's one eye. Done. Right, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going in and going to be brave. So I've got this um, paint that I told you about earlier, which um, I'm just now mixing up with a very fine brush. If I fluff this up at this stage, I'm literally going to cry. <laughs> I just, I can't imagine what I, well, I'd probably break down, have a total breakdown if I mess this up. So fingers crossed for me, folks. So let's do the crown and then, so I'm shaking now. So I'm going to have to hold uh, straight in with a fluff up. Hold my hand. I didn't want to do this on this fine bit. But, um, I can tell you, when you see this paint, 
when it dries. There's nothing like it. So I'm just holding, trying to hold my hand. It's very difficult with these fine brushes because they don't hold much paint at all. I do have another technique which I could try. And that's a dry old marker that I've washed out. Mix, um, and I, I dip that in it and that works as well. My oh, goodness. There's me saying that we're just finishing touches, won't take long. I think I've put too much water in this paint. I've definitely put too much water in it. <laughs> Now I've got a big globule. But it's okay. I can, when it's dry, I can go over any fluff ups over the black. And this is why I didn't want to do it in paint, this bit. I'll just let it dry and I'll go back over it. It will be fine. I just need to stop stressing. Right, stop stressing. Enjoy. And then I'll go back in with black when I'm done. If you're still with me at this point, you're absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Keeping me company. Okay, that looks real shoddy. <laughs> um, and I have made a mess of my paint, my beautiful paint. So I've put too much water in it. Okay. We now have to go around here. Do you know what? I'm going to try that dipping technique that I had. So this um, was a metallic marker set that Kevin brought me. And it dried out this marker. So it's completely bone dry. There's nothing on it. So I am literally going to dip it in the paint. Let it soak it up. And then I'm going to use it to paint on. Is it going to work? Yeah, it's beginning to pick the paint up. Here we go. There we go. Just feel a bit more confident holding a pen. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> and I can always go back in afterwards. I'm going to have to because I've made a right fluff up of everything. I knew I would. Um, I'll go back in with a black ball jelly roll afterwards and tidy the lines up so actually I don't think I'm going to make you sit and watch this because this could be painful I'm going to go off and do all the gold so her crown will be tidied up the chair and all over the white bits on her boots and in her bodice so this could be a painful watch otherwise all right my friends again that's about the 20th time I've said this all right my lovelies I'm going to go off and get this bit finished and then I'll we'll meet back up. See you in a sec. Okay guys, now, um, I had to do a lot of repair work on her crown because my hands were shaking and I messed it up. So I switched to um, the a gold gel pen and I used the um, Jewel Metallic gold just plain gold but if I 
lift her up to the light hopefully you can see Rebecca's look at that gold paint yeah so her bodice is the gel pen I couldn't uh, risk messing her up completely so we've only got a few more things to do so if I bring you in um, I need to put some highlight in her eyes so I have got the fine white Posca which is the PC1MR or 0.7 and I am going to, she's going to have, oh, shaky, shaky again. She's going to have a little bit there and there. And there. And then on her boot, let me move my cup of hot chocolate, my comfort cup of hot chocolate. Um, oh, I should see my desk, folks. It's an absolute tip. Okay, so I've done this boot and we're going to do it exactly the same. So just on the toe, we've only got a little bit of that peeping out, so we'll just do a little bit. On her heel, she's got two dots, and then a little bit here. Just to sort of indicate some shine on her shoe, really. A little bit on the buckles, can you see? Yeah. So I messed the paint work up really bad. <coughs> so I might just leave that bit, a little bit on the heel. Little dot there. Okay, right. Now I was going to do um, a light grey on her hair, just to indicate some streaks, but I'm not. I'm going to leave her alone because I've messed and um, it really frightened me, <laughs> actually. <laughs> that uh, when I did the gold paint that I thought I'd completely messed her up but here she is um, Queen of Halloween and I love her I, I know this video has been very long but there was a lot of parts to this video so I will put Rebecca's beautiful um, paint shop down below in the links for you to go over and have a look you can buy the like massive sets or you can buy one individual paint and these are full pans but you can get half pans too so yeah absolutely incredible incredible paint if you look at her bodice compared to the shoes you can see the difference yeah they're just, it's, they're just miracle paints they really are so i really hope you've enjoyed it i've loved coloring it it's been a real challenge and a real um yeah real challenge like I say, the only thing I wish I'd have done was um, put watercolour on her skin first. But we live and learn. So the next time, if we do another Jasmine page together, um, I will know to use watercolours. I hope I remember. I might have to write it in my diary, won't I? So until we meet again in the very near future, I've got lots of plans and some more gifts to share with you. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.